Who wants waffles? Who wants waffles? Goofish, you want buckwheat waffles? <gasps> Sunday mornings are when you want to just roll out of bed, pour that cup of cappuccino or coffee, and then somehow waffles magically appear. But when you think about all that you have to do to get those waffles ready, oh my God, there goes your relaxing Sunday morning. So what if you could make those waffles in a hurry because you thought ahead and you made that waffle mix ahead of time? So today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious buckwheat waffle mix. I think they're really the best waffles on the planet. I absolutely love them. They are so light and so crispy and absolutely delicious and they're gluten-free. Now I'm not gluten-free, but so many people are today and I love to have something on hand that satisfies absolutely everybody. So let me show you how to make these waffles to delighten your Sunday morning and make your Sunday morning part of a vegan good life. Now, a lot of people say, well, where do you get oat flour? And they can't find it. You can find it in certain stores, but if you can't, the place you find it is right here in your blender out of some rolled oats. So I'm not even gonna measure. I'm just gonna add some oats to my blender. And we're just going to make flour out of it. That's it. That is oat flour. That's all there is to it. Your oat flour is now ready to go. Keep it stored in the refrigerator if you can. But I've got some made already. So I've got four cups of oat flour that I'm going to put into this large bowl. And into that, I'm going to add two cups of buckwheat flour. Now, buckwheat flour or buckwheat just adds this earthy flavor that is just incomparable. It also creates a really light uh, pancake or waffle. I'm going to add to my flours five tablespoons of baking powder. I'm just going to use a sieve just to make sure there's no little lumps. I'm going to add six tablespoons of ground flax seeds, which will act sort of like the eggs that we're not gonna be adding to this. We're gonna also be adding a, a third of a cup of coconut sugar. You can add just plain old sugar if you want. If so, reduce the quantity to a quarter cup. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of cinnamon, which will just give it this lovely flavor, and a teaspoon and a half of salt. And then all we have to do is whisk it and your waffle mix is ready to be stored in your cupboard to be used anytime on a Sunday morning, Saturday morning, whenever you just feel like having waffles or, or buckwheat pancakes or, in fact, that's what I forgot to tell you. You can make these lovely buckwheat crepes out of these. We're not gonna do that today, but hey, I did find uh, a lone bottle of beer, can of beer lying around. It's, it's some, uh, Corona. So I'm going to make beer pancakes because that's a really nostalgic food for me. Back in high school, uh, I worked at this, uh, this diner in Sausalito, California. I had to get up really, really early and take the bus there. Um, and, uh, you know, I was kind of a, a line cook making pancakes and other things. And they had, uh, they had these uh, beer pancakes that were to die for back in the 1970s. So uh, really reminiscent of, of what I have there. And uh, so I'm gonna make some beer pancakes out of this as well too. So, we're, but we, were, we will start with the waffles. That's it, that's the pancake mix. Put it in a large container, store it in your cupboard for a few months. At any time you want these delicious waffles, it will be ready. So when you're ready to make the waffles, it is so easy. All you need is equal parts pancake mix, waffle mix, and some kind of non-dairy milk. So I've got soy milk here today. You can use almond or oat or cashew, whatever you have on hand. And I like to add just a teaspoon of vanilla. So now we're gonna uh, wrong cap. That's the right cap. 
and we're going to mix it up. And it's going to seem pretty thin initially, but it will all thicken up and be absolutely beautiful. So just let it sit for a minute while my while your uh, waffle iron is heating up. You know these waffle irons take a while. Uh, so we'll wait a minute and then we're going to cook the waffle. Got my waffle iron nice and hot. And I like to just spray it a little bit like that. And now we're going to start pouring this. Okay, that's going to be about 10 minutes. on the inside, crispy on the outside, mm. and full of whole food goodness. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to make some pancakes. Wouldn't life be wonderful if it were a musical? Yes, and we would. say, yes it would. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so let's get a cup and two tablespoons of this mixture into this bowl and two tablespoons. All right, make a well in the center of this. And I'm gonna add some beer. I'm gonna add a cup and a quarter of beer. And you want something relatively light. Don't use stout or a really dark beer. Ooh, we'll let the bubbles settle. Ooh, the bubbles, the cup runneth over, as they say. So hopefully I'm getting about the right amount. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And we're gonna whisk that together. Did you notice that these mixes are completely oil-free? Now they won't be oil free by the time I top them with the uh, spreadable butter that I made in another episode. So if you want to check that out, check out the other episode. The griddle is hot. I'm going to put my pancake batter on here. And just, you know, when you think about that relaxing Sunday morning, you see how easy it is to make this. But also, you want to start your day off with some nutrition. And pancakes and waffles, typically that's sort of, you know, junky. It's like a a weekend treat, but this is not a weekend treat. This is full of whole food goodness. So I'm gonna turn the heat down to about medium high and we're gonna wait until all the bubbles appear on top and then we're ready to flip it over. Homemade everything, homemade butter, homemade waffles. The best. It's the best, it's the vegan good life. And you know who would like these? Who? Okay, they're made out of oats and they're made out of buckwheat, so mm. that's healthy. Mm -hmm. I think the goats would really like it. Mm. Mm. Watch out, Madeline. <laughs> Coming for you. That's right, <laughs> she was in here earlier today. She was, a little surprise yes. visit. <laughs> Doesn't happen in every kitchen, no. but you know. Who wants waffles? Who wants waffles? Does June want waffles? Of course she does. Yes, who wants buckwheat waffles? Be nice, you have to share. Sharing is caring, don't you know that? Come, see, poor, Ju poor cream doesn't, there you go cream, see if you eat that. That's the thing. All right, cream, this is the thing, is that goats oftentimes won't eat anything that hits the ground, but let's see. This is just so good, they're going for it. So good. Now you, you have to limit the amount of grain you give goats because, uh, male goats especially, because they can have prostate issues. So we have to be, yeah, careful. That's right, that, I think you guys got 
all the waffles you need. And we're gonna save the rest for another snack. Would you like more, Lucy? <laughs> and that's Ricky over there. Aww. <laughs> I know, it's waffle day. Waffle days are special. Not every day is waffle day. Not every day, no. Well, thank you for joining this week's episode of The Vegan Good Life. I'll see you again soon.